This is my favorite truck. This is a truck that dies like nearly instantly. If it dies, I mean it loses all the power. This is really bugging me. <laughs> okay, so I am in the International. Oh yeah, Jamie's an international mechanic. Anyway, so I'm in the International. I don't know what this. And uh, it's not derated yet. It's a nice cold morning. This thing goes about exactly 90 seconds of driving before shutting off the uh, power. It still has, the engine still runs, but this engine light comes on and then I run out of steam. And then I shut it off and I coast. I gotta buckle up. Okay, so it's about to do it. I can feel it because I lost power. Now the engine light's going to kick on and derate me even more. I'm empty. It's not that steep. There it goes. It's not that steep a hill. So if I keep my foot on it, I'm still dropping revs. right here where it's flat and then I go down here and I shut up the key let that engine light drop okay now I start it back up again before I stop no we're good Christmas tree but no check engine light now it's gone and I got power I can feel the power zoom zoom so I get on it. If I feel the power, I gotta get in that power, dog. Woo! Now we're getting it. Oh, uh, is we coming up over the neighbors? A little bit. 35 is all the faster I wanna go out here in these wind turbines. These wind turbines cost $1 million to build. Or excuse me, <laughs> probably cost more than that. These wind turbines got BP Energy or PG&E $1 million each to contract to build them. So the government gave them $1 million per turbine so they could have them built. Without the government subsidies, there's no way these things would work. These are um, the big ones. These are 350 feet tall at the top of the blade. So. That one right there that's not spinning, that's 350 feet tall or a little over 110 meters. Um, here we go, the engine's about to derate in about five seconds. Well, oh, a little early, oh, that's good. Okay, so I still got power, but I'm gonna shut it off again. on the film. Yeah, if you guys are getting that FPV drive with Trevor that you don't get anymore. Woo! Here's our fertilizer tank. And look, this one's open. That means somebody's up in there. They got an elevator in there. Wow. Cloudy, crummy looking day. I don't have a radio. It's just me and my machine. And you guys. Well, you guy. Whoever you are watching this. A 40 year old male. Uh, yeah, maybe even older. Wee! I can roll down the window so we can really hear this Detroit diesel humming. So this is a stop sign. I'm gonna have to stop here. And the engine light's on again. I just went through the stop sign. I want to 
make it around this corner though. around the corner so I just don't like driving this thing around corners because I lose power steering when I shut it off so now I gotta guess which gear I need I think I need third yep bouncy beast third it was here we go I was fully loaded. I have nothing on. This hill is not steep. Like, no power. It's building. The turbo is just having a hard time spooling or something. I got more oil pressure today than I did yesterday. Keep an eye out for PG&E investors, guys. PG&E is like Pacific Gas and Electric or something, Portland Gas and Electric. I'm not sure. This is a good spot to shut it off. This thing is going super fast down this hill. No. Don't do this at home. What you're seeing this truck driver do, don't you ever do that. Just because Trevor does it doesn't mean you guys should do it. I'm the YouTuber. <laughs> I got to do what I got to do to get them views, you know what I mean? Like shut off my truck before going down a hill. Which has got to be one of the scariest things you can do in a truck. Besides losing brakes. Losing brakes, I think, is the scariest. I have dreams I lose my brakes. So it's a little cold. If I turn this up, maybe I'll get some heat in here. Hey, there's my bank out wagon there. I'm on what you call the runway. This is where you can launch a plane. But too bad for us, we don't have planes. There we go. Let's hope I can carry my speed through this hill. I don't dare shift. Set his feet right back in this gear. Let's redline it. There's a check engine light. I get up the top, I can shut off my truck. Once I get around this corner, I really don't need to. D ray, hey, we're good. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm gonna shut off the truck. A little bit creepy. I get the truck started again. I gotta start slowing down. I gotta take this left here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> There's our old cat right there. It's ready to do some plowing too. See this being an uncut video. There goes the engine again. I gotta go around this corner though first though before I. Oh, here, just disappeared. Come on. Come on.
guess I could turn this on so you guys could see the nice enough, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> Here. I made it. There's some puddles here from the rain yesterday. I made it, and then what I do is I come over here, and I grab this, and I hook it to that. Yep, then turn on the pump. Okay, the pump's running. It's hooked to my truck. I verify I'm hooked up and pumping by watching that if it goes up and down like that. Pumping. And I gotta go over here and take what's left of this put it in. This is empty. It's like this one's got less than 800. 2600 plus minus the 200. 2800. It doesn't matter. We're putting it all in there. Yep. It's not the best, but he's seeding over there right in the center of your screen. Right there. So they fertilized this, evidently. The videos I got before them fertilizing, not seeding this. Very interesting piece. You can't see all of it because it goes down over this hill. But it's just like a strangely shaped hillside. Strap those down, a lock down, a lock down. These are empty, that's shut off. And this has 2,600 in it, just like I guessed. So that's good. And now we're off, back to over where Gary is, somewhere over there. Way over there. 